It's Straight Jacket Day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the Insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see Fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Insane Colts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. In your pentatomic <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot. and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. All week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. The quarterback has had enough and caused a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. And they line up for the extra point. And 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Has the receivers covered well. That's a three yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and six. Not, not one, not two, not, not, not. It's about a three yard pickup. Second and three. Not, not one, not two, not, 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 not. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. Then. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. With a photograph? grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He had it for a second there.
second down and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. You know what they say? Sometimes the best offense is the First and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And that'll bring up second and one. for the touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. to the new line, that's a first down. And it's first and 10. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and 10. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. Looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's gonna need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
And it's first and ten. A great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, I love this journey. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for steak kebab? Make mine rare. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and two. And the defense falls from that trick all the time. <laughs> oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Second down and long. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and five. And that takes us to the two minute warning. Third down and five. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And that'll bring up second and one. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He's at the 
30. He's at the 20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! And they're going for two to tie it up. I'd like to tie up Brix's mother. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Summon your own demons at home. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and two. <laughs> Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soy like beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff, deadlocked in a tie game. Bricks, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say a tire iron in your face. Well, that's a good point. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The chain's moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Pick up of about three on that play. Second down and seven. You want to be your kicker? Oh, man, you real. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Friends was an all pro NFL hit. And 
and it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and four. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. That pass play was good for three yards. Third down and eight. First down and five. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and five. point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. 
And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hey. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First down and three. Oh. Oh. It's a tie score going into the fourth quarter. Don't pretend you have a life or something better to do. Just stay tuned and see how it ends. First down and three. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> It's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. He <laughs> like should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. The bottom away dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Third down and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is... 
is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. The receiver runs away from the pass marker. That? Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Second down in a mile. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Kind of reminds me of that painting of dead carving the turkey. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good the teams are lined up for the kickoff and that's a returnable ball returnable you mean he can get a refund for it no no bricks it means he can return it for you know what never mind First and ten. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shoot. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. Second down and more than the QB would like. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third and two. And that'll bring us to the two minute warning. It's do or die now. Third and two. Sure, now we catch 
is it? I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third and four. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth. And that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Graham, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, and the other team is allowed a possession, too. After that, whomever scored... Oh, Mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score! And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. First and two. <laughs> and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. The Colts walk away losers today. And they're losers every day in my book. Next time, maybe they'll practice a little harder and cheat a little more. Freaking idiots. This is the NFL. You're supposed to cheat. Won't that be a lesson to them? Let's go over to the MVP. Yeah. 
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other.